Hey y'all, today we are going to look at our property um, when we bought it and everything we have done to transform that property. The first three frames you are going to see are our property before we bought it. These were taken in March of 2020. At this point, it's literally just a pasture. Okay, I just want to give you some background into how long this process actually took. So, in May of 2019, my husband and I had our first child. His name is Carter. And then <laughs> by June of 2019, we started joking about having another kid immediately, like having their birthdays be about a year apart. And in August of 2019, we decided that is exactly what we were going to do. Um, in September, we got pregnant. And then in November of 2019, my husband informed me that since we are having two kids, maybe moving back to my hometown might not be such a terrible idea. So in December, we started looking at houses. In January, our son got sick and he stays sick for about three months. It's not just one illness. It's like he gets a cold and then he gets RSV and then he gets some flu type thing and then he gets hand, foot and mouth and then he gets something else. So he's literally sick from January 5th until the week before COVID shuts everything down in March. So that was really awesome. In early March, we went and looked at this property for the first time. We went and drove by it. And then probably a week or two later, we went out and walked through it, um, which is how we got those pictures. And then at the end of March, COVID shuts everything down, which freaked us out. Like, what's happening? What's going to happen? Where, you know, where are things going to be in a year and so we kind of got cold feet and we're like, okay, we'll hold off for a little bit. And then um, in May of 2020, we just decided to go ahead and sign the contract on the property and pick out the house. Like we just, we just needed to get, get things started. It didn't matter what was going to happen. We, we just adjust and take care of it. And then in June of 2020, Forrest was born. Um, whenever we started this whole process, we were really hoping we would be moved before we had our second child. That did not happen. Um, so in uh, July of 2020, we closed on our land in our house and then we just waited. And because of COVID, everything was kind of backed up. Plants were shut down. There was a shortage of labor, blah, blah, blah. And our house that was supposed to be ready by, you know, mid to late August was not ready. And so we were like, okay, we just need to get down there. We need to get out of our house so we can start renovating it. And we moved into a camper with six animals and two small children. And we lived in a camper in my parents' pasture so we could start renovating our house. And we worked on that for a while. And then the week before Christmas, our house was ready to move into. So we moved into the trailer uh, the week before Christmas. And my husband kind of kicked it into overdrive after, um, after Christmas to really start renovating our house in Springfield. And we kind of just gradually worked on all of this other stuff. So let's look and see what we did. This first picture is actually um, before we moved into the house, but it is progress that was made on the house. Um, this was done right around the time we closed on the property. It was part of our contract. Um, you can see if you look really closely in the, these pictures, there's a fence line. And then directly behind that, there's another fence line. The fence line that's in the front that we're actually taking pictures of is a new fence line that they put in because they wanted to make our property exactly 20 acres or something like that. Um, so uh, they put in this new fence line, brand new fencing, nice new steel age posts. 
um, all the way across the back of our property, which means that they had to clean out a bunch of trees. So there's a giant pile of trees in the back of our pasture. But um, it's nice that we have a clean fence line because honestly, messy fence lines drive me a little bit crazy. It's like, like clutter in a fence line. So anyways, um, yeah, that is a little bit before our actual living on the property, but it was progress made. So I thought I would share that little piece. So other progress that was made, we added electric, we got our house pad in, we had to do septic and a lagoon. Um, then we did have a well on the property, but um, it needed a little bit of work. So my husband worked on that. And then the house arrived and it was just a house in a field. So we had to add a driveway. And then um, my dad has, he's an electrician and from one of the jobs that he was doing, they had built this deck in between their, uh, I don't know, office trailers kind of. Um, and they were just gonna throw it away. And he was like, hey, you guys want a free deck? And we were like, heck yeah. So <laughs> we got this free deck. If you look on the left, you'll see what the back of our house originally looked like. And then we added this deck. Um, and my husband actually modified it a little bit to make it a little more child safe, um, which is great. And then we got a free pool, which is also great. <laughs> and then my husband and I built this little tiny shed. Um, we just needed somewhere to put the little odds and ends that come with gardening. Um, so we, my husband and I by ourselves built this shed and then we had it insulated. Um, and actually that is where our freezer and deep freezer are going to go. We're actually working on the electrical to get that all set up. Um, so that will be coming soon, but Currently, it is just a lawn and garden shed. It's where our pool was stored during the winter because we needed to re-level the ground. It was our, it's just a little miscellaneous shed. It will eventually be a freezer shed. We built it ourselves. Um, next is the big expensive project, the shop. The shop is bigger than our house, but we needed a shop because that is where my husband is running one of his, one of our businesses out of. It is, you know, where we store our um, lawnmower and larger tools. Our kayaks are out there. It's just, it's got a lot of stuff in it. Um, so, yeah, and then we have a little lean-to on the side to store some stuff in. And, yeah, um, that, that thing probably took, oh, I don't know six months to get from start to finish it was a lot it was a lot of waiting but it's done now um yeah that's all we've done so far uh next on the to-do list is to get the garden in and then probably chickens are next after that it's just like we moved into a pasture and there was nothing there and it's just kind of been like you can't do everything all at once we don't have a billion dollars that we can just throw at projects that we want to we have to wait until we can fund each little individual thing that we want to do so one thing at a time oh we're getting ready to put a drain across our yard because our yard becomes a lake whenever it rains so that's actually that is the electrical on the little shed thing in the drain across our yard those are the next big projects aside from the garden i'm hoping i can get a, get started on the garden this weekend i don't know i don't know what is going to happen it's been raining for 40 years around here we finally had one dry week and it's going to rain this weekend so we'll see we'll see what's going to happen i don't know i'll keep you updated i just wanted to share that this week we hit 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel. That doesn't mean anything monetarily, but it is one big step. Um, we are also at 250 hours of watch time and over 3,000 views. I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who watches my videos, who takes the time to like and leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the like button if you enjoy this kind of video, 
Leave me a comment down below if there's something you would like to see, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, y'all. Thank mm -hmm. you.